Hello and welcome back to another Revit tutorial series. In this video, we'll dive into the advanced features of Revit 2024, specifically focusing on how to efficiently place ribbers using the power pack detailing tool for the foundation footings. We'll be detailing our reinforcements at every footing from scratch. The project contains six types of footing sizes as you can see from the properties here. With this plugin, you can gain access to a powerful set of tools tailored specifically for reinforcing steel detailing. This plugin streamlines the riba detailing process, offering efficiency and precision, ultimately leading to superior structural performance. Here, we have our Revit project opened up. I have already placed footings, columns, beams, walls and a slab. I can click on the foundation level view. You can download the PDF file for these structural drawing details in the description box below. We will detail our ribbers according to the design specifications of each footings as you can see from the sections. The foundation depth and width varies and also the ribber specifications of the footing types. In the foundation schedule, we have our footing types, the size in millimeters, quantity, and the reinforcement details for each footing type. We can zoom to our structural elements in the model space. We can start by creating groups for each footing type in the project. Click on Create Group, then select Footing or Column. For this project, I will create the groups by selecting on a type, right-click, select all instances, then Visible in View. I will go to my plugin by dropping here then select power pack detailing. With the footing selected, I will create a footing group. In the group name, I will type F1 footings. Then press OK. Now, all F1 footings have been grouped. We can proceed to group the next footing. I will select this footing, then right click, select all instances, visible in view. We have 14 instances of the F2 footing selected. Right-click in the model space, then select Repeat Footing or Column command. I will set the group name to F2 footings. Then press OK. In the Design Status dialog, you can view all group elements by dropping here. Select on the icon again to hide the list. Click on close to exit the command. We can continue to group the other footings. I will select one F3 footing, right click, select all instances, then visible in view. With the footing selected, right click in the model space, then select repeat footing or column command. I will edit the group name to F3 footings. Then press enter. I will close the design status dialog. In the model space, I will zoom and select one F4 footing. Click to select, right click, select all instances, visible in view. Right click in the model space then select repeat footing or column command. I will rename the group to F4 footings. Then press OK. We can fix by editing to F4 not F3. Press OK. Close the design status dialog. We can zoom then select the last footing type for this project. I will select on this F6 footing, then right click, select all instances visible in view. Right click in the model space then select repeat footing or column command. In the group name, I will type in F6 footings. Then press OK. Press enter to continue. We can close the design status dialog. If I zoom to the PDF import, F5 footings are located here. I have not included them in the project as you can see in the model here. Before we can start to detail our foundation ribbers, we need to know the diameter and spacing required for each type from the schedules. Footing types F1, F2, and F4 all share the same ribber diameter and spacing value of 225. With that in mind, we can go back in the model to start placing our footings ribber. I will start by selecting one F1 footing, 
hold control, add one F2 footings and one F4 footing. I will drop here, then select power pack detailing. Drop at constructive dispositions, then select reinforcement assumptions to define the code parameters for the RIBA design. In the assumptions dialog, we can set our parameters to the design specifications. For the distribution type, I will set to alternating then set to uniform spacing of 225. We can impose a diameter of 16 mm as required. We can leave hooks as they are then drop at support element. We can uncheck this option for now to only have the footing ribbers generated. In the pad settings, we have the ribber parameters defined as the details. You can click here to activate hooks length then set a value from here. We can press OK to exit the command. We can proceed to generate the reinforcements from the 3D view. With the three types selected, we can select constructive dispositions to have our ribbers automatically generated within the plugin. In the design status dialog, we can see all groups under Mac label. Click on close to exit the command. The power pack detailing tool has intelligently placed the ribbers according to our settings. All selected footings within the groups have been designed to the parameters given in the reinforcement assumptions command. We still have the basic ribber commands from the generated ribbers. I can select this bus then go to ribber set. The spacing is the same as we defined earlier and also the ribber type and the size too. We can edit a group ribber by going to main bus command. Select it, then select a footing to open the reinforcement settings. Expand the pad settings, then select bottom bus along X. Set defined distribution by to spacing. The type and spacing values are okay here. The cover of the X bus is set to 50 mm for the bottom side. You can edit the hook's length from here. I will go to the bottom bars along Y, then set define distribution by to spacing. Note how the plugin automatically placed a 66mm cover for these ribbers, making them lie on top of the bottom X bars. Top bars can be added from here along X or Y. Press OK to exit the command then hit yes here. With the plugin, you can save time by using the create group command to detail multiple elements at once. We can go to our plan view to continue detailing the other footings. I will zoom to the footing schedule. For the F3 footings, we should provide Y16 ribbers with 175mm spacing. I will zoom at the model, then select any F3 footing. I will switch to power pack detailing tab, then select reinforcement assumptions command. We can set the distribution type to alternating. Select on uniform spacing, then type 175 as the provided spacing. Impose diameter of Y16 type, then impose a hook length of 200 mm. Expand supported element, then uncheck. Press OK to exit the command. Click here and select constructive dispositions. Select any footing within the group, then hit finish. Then yes. We can close the design status dialog to view the generated reinforcements. All F3 footings have ribber placed with the same type and spacing as defined. We can view the ribbers in 3D. I will rotate, then zoom to any F3 footing. At this footing, I can select this ribber then go to ribber set. The layout is set to number and spacing with a value of 175 as defined. We can go to the plan view to see the required reinforcement for the last footing group. I will zoom to the foundation schedule. The F6 footings have Y12 type at 200mm center to center. I will zoom to the model then select reinforcement assumption command. Select any footing within the group then hit finish. Uncheck supported element option then click on pad. I will set distribution type to alternating. Set spacing to uniform spacing then type 200. Check impose diameter then set to Y12. Check impose hook length then press OK.
go to constructive disposition, then select it. Select on a footing in the group, then hit finish, then yes. We can close the design status dialog. With this, we have placed ribbers as required for each footing in the project with the help of PowerPack Detailing plugin. I can select on the ribber, then go to ribber set. The spacing is set to 200 as we defined and the type is Y12. We can also view the ribbers from elevation views. Double click to open. I can go to plan view, then open this section view by double clicking on the section head. I will zoom to this corner footing. The ribbers have been detailed to precision as you can see. If we select on a ribber, it is placed with hooks and constrained at the cover as you can see for both ends. With this, I hope you have gained a comprehensive understanding on how to leverage the Greitech Advanced Power Pack Detailing Plugin for Revit 2024 to place ribber in foundation footings. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like. Share, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.